Get a load of that fish. Everybody and welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today I decided to take another trip. Governor just made it the rule where we can't have motorboats out, so what did I do? I loaded up the kayak and headed down to Bay City again. This time they'll hit in the Saginaw River, see if we can get into some catfish. Should be a good episode, guys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm trying something a whole bunch different today. <laughs> Uh, there's a no boat thing going on here in the state. We're not allowed to have any motorized boats So I loaded up the kayak and headed down to Bay City Figure I'd try for some cats now I'm gonna start off by this is what they call a crappie rig With these two hooks on it. Um, normally it's plain hooks, but I put on what these are called bear It's made by bear claw, but they're just snelled spinners uh, but I'm gonna rig these up with a couple crawlers and then I'm gonna throw out also a rod, my other rod with a uh, sucker minnow, and we're gonna see what happens. So yeah, hopefully this is a good episode. We'll see if we can get some cats. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. It's on that crappie rig. Big fish too. That didn't take long guys. I ain't even been here but maybe 15 minutes. Yep, it's on that crappie rig with those snelt spinners made by Bear Claw Company. They're pretty cheap. You can get them at just about any bait store. Of course, I ain't got a net today. Yep, yeah, it's a catfish. Good eating size, too. It ain't a giant. That's a good eater. <laughs> Tricky in a kayak, dealing with a cat. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be nasty when I get home. All right, guys, as you can see, this is all I'm doing here. I anchored up on a pillar on a bridge because I know there's going to be some slack water just beyond the pillar, and I figured it'd uh, be a good place to for the catfish to come and rest. And while they're resting, boom, I've got some bait right there in their face. So, you know, if they're hungry and they're coming to rest, they're going to grab it. So, yeah, as you can see, it's paid off so far. i got one nice cat. Hoping to get into some big ones. We'll see what happens. There we go. There we go. Ah, stay on, buddy. Ah, this feels like a good one. They'll wear your arm out. <laughs> Half of the fun though, guys. Oh yeah, another good cat. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, 
that's another good eater too. Hoping to get some giants that I'll just throw back, but I don't mind catching these. That's a pretty one there. Come on, open that mouth. <laughs> I knew I should have brought a net. It's not recommended that you lip them, guys, because they bite hard. They bite really hard and it hurts. Even though they don't have teeth. I mean, they do have teeth. Little bristly ones. Now, so far, guys, all my hits have been on the chartreuse. Um, bear, bear claw spinner. And like I said, these are really cheap. I'm gonna show you real quick how I rigged this up. I took the other one off, but this is what it looks like on the crappie rig. You got two arms. I put an orange one on that arm. But all I do is I put the loop of this through the loop on the metal piece and then I run the hook spinner and beads through there and then boom you've got a perfect knot and I'll tell you that's all it takes guys sure are pretty though when they're small little channel catfish got all those spots now, one thing I do want to point out for any, you know, kind of people that are new to this, these you know, catfish don't have stingers. <laughs> That's a big myth. These right here are what you call barbels. They use them to feel the bottom. That's what they use to, to feel for food. But uh, yeah, they, they're not, this is what you got to worry about. They've got serrated fins right here. Th these will stick you. Same with the back fin. So you want to hold them like I'm holding them here, but I'm going to let this little guy go. It'll be a good eater, but I'm going to stick to the, you know, medium size today. So, yep, pretty cat. There we go. Hooked into that one. <laughs> Feels like a bigger one, too. <laughs> oh, I love catching catfish, guys. Yep, that's a good eater. Yeah, perfect size there. Yeah, that's a real nice clean looking cat oh man there we go <sighs> feels like a good one crazy how hard they can hit sometimes though hopefully you guys seen that hit it was a heck of a hit Done yet. Oh, yeah, that's a nice cat. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Almost too big to lift. That's a good eater there. Another smaller one. Oh, it's a sheephead. 
Cool. Got a weird growth on its. Got a weird growth on its nose too. Hey, something different. Man, look at that weird hump on its nose. Oh, it's blind too. Wow. Yeah, you had to swallow it, didn't you, buddy? Oh, you didn't swallow it. Yeah, that's cool. Weird, weird thing on its nose, though. Let's see. Try and get a picture of this. Cool. Another species. See you later, buddy. <laughs> like another little one oh, yeah. oh another sheep head <laughs> little sheep head man look how pretty they are though guys you hit it right in the Sun you get all that pretty blue and purple and just a really cool fish yeah, very cool. <laughs> Coast Guard boat. <laughs> it's probably the only boat allowed to be on the water right now other than these little kayaks. <laughs> Bunch of catfish! Thanks! <laughs> there we go. That feels like a good fish. Yeah, this is definitely a bigger fish. This is probably the biggest fish of the day, guys. That's a good one there. Not as big as I thought though, it's a good eater size. I was hoping it was one of those 20 pounders. <laughs> but I think it's because he's got himself tangled up here. He felt a little bigger than he is. Still a good fish. like another good one. Sometimes they run towards the boat and it makes me feel like I've lost it, but yeah, this is definitely another, another nice cat.
is fighting hard. This might be bigger than the last one. Oh yeah, that's a big kitty. That's a bigger kitty. A real nice channel cat there. covered in catfish slime. <laughs> well, something's finally on the minnow, guys. Let's hope this is a big one. <sighs> oh yeah. Yep, this is what we've been, this is what I was hoping for, guys. This is probably going to be a flathead. It's a big fish. It's on a big old sucker minnow. I'm gonna have to find my scale. Man, oh man. See if I wasn't tied up, guys, this fish would be dragging me all over the river. This is a big fish. This minnow, guys, has been out the entire time that I've been out here. I mean, it's been out for like three hours, just laying on the bottom. Oh, look at that cat. Look at that cat. I thought it was a flathead, but it's a giant channel. That is a huge channel cat, guys. Probably the biggest channel I've ever caught, if I can get her in. Wow, what a beauty. That's a big channel cat. Look how pretty that is. Oh, she's barely hooked too.
got it. Man, oh man, look at that, guys. That's a big channel cat. <laughs> All right, on a sucker. On a sucker minnow. I still got the minnow to use, too. Ah, I can't get it to read right. Ah. Boy, you got a grip on you, kid. Well, guys, I'm not going to be able to weigh it. I'm not very happy with my Rapala scale. It's letting me down. Oh. God, it's got a bite to it. I'm going to get a picture and get this baby back. It deserves to live more. See you later, baby girl. There she goes. <laughs> oh, man. There go. Oh, that feels like a nice fish. This is definitely a good fish here. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh. See, that's a good eater, but I've already got, I think I got seven on the stringer. So I'm just gonna throw this guy back. I'm not gonna keep any more. You're allowed as many as you want in Michigan, but I don't like to overdo it. There. Yep, nice looking fish. That's a good size to be eating, but like I said, I've got enough on the stringer, so he's gonna go back. Get bigger, my friend. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I sure had a blast making it. This is, uh, I can honestly say that's probably the most cats I've ever caught in one day. And I got some beautiful fish. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because there's lots of adventures to come.